Hey everyone, welcome back to the Leadfoot Garage. My name's Evan. I'm Trevor. And filming is Steve-O. Say hi, Steve-O. Hi, Steve-O. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a very special review for everyone. Uh, this is our dad's 1964, uh, was it K20, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Chevy pickup. Um, so uh, my brother has inherited this. This is what uh, he gets to drive. Lucky turd. <laughs> um, but we thought we'd, we'd bring you this review. Um, so, Drew, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Oh, gosh. Uh, we've had it since 1975, I think. Four of us were born. Yep. <laughs> um, I don't know. It, it was pretty rough when we finally parked it and, and redid it, but he did a frame off on it. And did about everything himself. Yeah. Painted it, uh, body work. Um, I did the seat. That was about the only thing he didn't <laughs> do. So, yeah, he, he did it all. The tilt front end. Yeah, so this was this was what I remember Dad driving every single day of the week was was this truck uh, to work and to home. Yep, um, the daily. Yep, yep. I can remember going camping with that big old big camper, big camper <laughs> on the back of it. I think that might have made the, the thing squat just a little bit. It was ginormous. It was huge. Um, but yeah, this was this was just his daily driver, and it was so dependable for him for years and years and years. And then, like like Trev said. Um, it, it needed some TLC and he finally he finally gave it to it so uh, it's looking pretty good um, he redid it in black and we've got um, the white uh, stripe um, this red this is a isn't this a painted yeah, pin stripe yeah. right so he went to a car show I think and had that um, added uh, so it's really nice and you know not the not the tape that's gonna right. flake off eventually. Um, and then, you know, I don't know if this thing is an actual custom level trim, but, uh, that nice chrome detail there. And one thing that I really love is these fender flares. It just sets the truck off. It makes it look, you know, almost like those Tonka toys from the eighties. Um, and those are probably 40 years old too. Yeah. They've yep. Been they've, forever. they've managed to last so long. And so these are, these are five slot mags, just like the Suburban has. Yep. Um, and we're running some 35s. Uh, really nice, good tires here. Um, I remember when we were little, it had those super swampers, and yeah. man, the thing came up to here when I was little. <laughs> of course, I wasn't a big kid, but it just—it seemed like you know Bigfoot, a giant monster <laughs> truck, and it was just the coolest thing ever. Yeah. Um, let's hop inside because he's got a really nice gauge package, and then you've done just such a great job on the seats. But we've got the, you know the two-tone theme kind of continues uh, with this little door panel right here. Um, but the seats are, are black and gray. The headliner matches. Got to hike yourself up. <laughs> so tell us about the gauges, because that is a non-factory thing. Just, I think it was a kit that he bought. They're shark gauges, which is kind of an off-brand, I believe, but it, uh, it's just got the oil pressure, water temperature, volts, and a fuel level, and then attack and speedometer. Right. We're running classic vintage steering wheel, right? Yeah, this is an original style steering wheel. Okay. Um, and then, oh, I think that's an old Sears underdash air conditioning unit that's probably older than I am. <laughs> so it's got heat in there, and... It's 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 comfortable to travel in with the you know when it's hot out because it'll freeze you out. Yep, and then he changed the the transmission right from the original Granny Low four speed. Yeah, it's got an NV forty five hundred five speed out of okay. a, probably a nineties something Chevy truck. Now is that still a what you would say a Granny Low? Yeah, yeah, it still has Granny gear in it. Okay, but but it, but an overdrive so yeah. It'll run on the highway pretty good. Yeah, so he changed the gears. It originally had 456s, and he put what, four, four, four 11s, 11s yeah. yep, in the rear. Now, he didn't do the, the front conversion, so you can't actually use the the four-wheel drive on it, but you've got a set of 456 that, that we're eventually going to swap back out. Yeah, they're the ones that came out of it, Yeah. so I just got to swap them. So this is, is it a Dana 60? No, it's it's a big Eaton rear end. It's I think he always said it was like a one-ton rear end. And then a Dana 44 front. Okay. So, 
the Dana 60s, I think, would have been in a maybe a, just a three-quarter ton two-wheel drive. I, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, this is a bigger bigger rear end than that. Bigger rear end than that. Yeah. yeah. Yep, definitely heavy duty. You you hauled some stuff in this thing. Oh yeah, he did too. Yep, <laughs> yep. Let's jump out here. And now for the piece de resistance. This is one of the coolest things. <laughs> I'll let you do it because oh. I don't want to break anything. Oh. Yeah, tilt the front end just like in Corvette so that you can get in there and work on the big block 454. Now this was the original 454 that the Suburban had, uh, but he built a second 454, so we put that one in, in here. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about this one? Uh, this It's a 60 over 454. Uh, it's this, uh, like you said, it was for the Suburban. It's been together since 90 or 91 yep. minus the heads and the cam he put these are just a set of closed chamber heads he took the big valve heads and put them on the engine you have right and this is just a, a pretty mild i don't even know if it's a comp cam or crane cam but, but it, it runs good yeah um, i put a 780 holly on it and, you know, he put a later model crossflow radiator you know, electric fan and, you know, so we got the nice polished headers there yeah, it really sets it off You know, when you think about what a, uh, a work truck should have, man, you just can't beat a big block for all that torque, you know? It's just killer. And I love the valve covers, how, how they say Chevrolet on there. That's, I don't know if that was ever the problem that, that they hit at the factory, but it looks good. Yeah, it's like, it, the, like the old, the factory stamp yep. steel valve covers. Yeah, would have had the script like that, yeah. or similar to that anyway. Yeah. They're dirty, so don't look at them. All right, well, I think that's about it. I really wanted to show everybody this tilt front end. He works long and hard on getting this whole thing set up. And yeah, he liked it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how he did it, but he managed to do it. And <laughs> like Trev said, he did it all by himself. Our dad was just the coolest guy and, uh, you know, really, really talented. Yeah. You know, and I did not get any of that. <laughs> um, I got my love of cars and, and, and love of driving from him. Uh, Trev, you're pretty mechanical. <laughs> I'm gonna have to rely on some of that when we start working on the bug. Right? Um, yeah, I just, it all just skipped me. It's all right. Yeah, and then, so if, if, if you remember, the last time that Trev was on, we reviewed his Harley Davidson truck. If you look at Trev now, he's got this glorious, <laughs> glorious beard. Jeez. It's awesome. I don't know that I could ever pull that off. <laughs> I don't know that I could grow one that good, but I don't know. We'll, we'll try. All right, well that's it uh, for this video. Thank you everyone for clicking on that thumbnail. Thank you for watching this. Um, I hope this this brings you as much enjoyment as it does us. You know, um, this we, we like talking about cars, but this thing is especially special uh, because it's been in the family for so long and it was our dad's and um, you know, you, you don't see a whole lot of original K20 trucks around anymore. Uh, so to, to be able to have this thing, um, I, I don't know. I, I just hope it brings joy to people like it does us. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, stay tuned. We're, we're hitting the, the summer months right now, and so there's going to be car shows, and we want to get out there and do this with you guys. We want, we want to well so uh we're looking forward to meeting